16,000 light years away in the constellation Ara the Altar, deep in the Westerland One star cluster, lays a very puzzling object. It's all that remains of a star at least 40 times more massive than our sun, which exploded as a supernova in the distant past, leaving behind a dense neutron star. But a star that big should have formed a black hole. Instead, astronomers see an unusual spinning hulk known as a magnetar, one of the most highly magnetic entities in the universe. Such magnetars hurl huge flares up and out across field lines millions of times more powerful than anything in our solar system. And they blast megabursts of gamma rays released as the magnetar shivers with star quakes. For nearly four decades, astronomers had theories, but no clear proof of how such magnetars could form. Now, astronomers using the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope think they've identified a small, bright, carbon-rich companion star hurtling away from the magnetar. Exactly what they expected if the site of the catastrophe originally contained two massive stars closely orbiting one another at the moment the supernova exploded. Mass would have transferred back and forth between the evolving objects to leave what became the magnetar just under the threshold mass for black hole formation. And so the mystery of magnetar genesis may now finally be solved. For Space.com, I'm Dave Brody. I'm not at all mysterious, and I'm tweetable at David Sky Brody.